What's going on, Leo? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned until the end of your reading while we use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. So let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you right now. So it's like decisions, right? Decisions need to be made right now. Universe is telling you that this is the time to complete decisions. There is something that is going to require your attention. The universe is giving you a heads up that you have to be decisive for it. And that really making this decision in a timely manner is going to really help you dream big and conquer big. And it really comes down to, you know, being decisive for this decision, right? So what is the universe telling you right now? There's an opportunity, a synchronicity, a moment about to take place for you where it's going to be life-changing. This opportunity is going to bring up a lot of, you know, almost like new responsibilities, but in a good way. Like things are, you're transcending, you're, you're moving brackets, you know? And the universe is telling you right now that it's very, very important right now to really just focus on dreaming big, feeling big. You know what I mean? Just really focus on um, aiming for the stars, really putting a lot of time and energy into um, almost expecting the abundance. Do you know what I mean? Almost not, not second guessing it. And right now, Source is telling you that when focusing on that, you know, when you're really assuming, you know, expecting, uh, thinking in advance, the opportunity is going to present itself and it's going to be something very joyous. And Source is also telling you to like, during this time frame, just celebrate a couple small victories in your life. You know, if you want to get the ball rolling and start feeling that, that love in your heart to be able to, you know, activate all this, just think of some of the things that have gone right in your life and really celebrate those victories. And you know, get yourself accustomed to celebrating victories before they happen. Because at the end of the day, that's all it really comes down to. And right now, Source is telling you, let spirit be your guide, which is like, just trust your instincts. This is how you let the universe guide you and show you what to do. It's always through instincts, never overthinking. And you can really help, we know what helps with that, simplicity. Like find beauty in simplicity. Find strength in simplicity, right? So let spirit be your guide. So if you want your relationship to be even better with the universe and to effortlessly just be guided to what to do, which is making their life so much better because they actually have a bird's eye perspective. Um, you can say, um, in your eyes, what you gotta do is find, find strength in simplicity because there is something going on that the universe wants you to know. There's, you're getting a warning sign here. There's some sort of energy that is not sustainable, overwhelming, you're putting too much focus into. There's something going on. There's some sort of energy here that's a little overwhelming and uh, makes you feel like you're busy, rushed, and uh, source is telling you that this is a this is a time to audit this relationship and audit this belief habit whatever this is this something has to change. And right now, universe is telling you that, like you know, it's super necessary because like you really got to find joy in the ordinary in order to change this. So, for example. You know, imagine every day like you go to the coffee shop, right? Like you go, you buy your coffee, you get to work. Now, when you buy your coffee, ask yourself, can you make that time a little bit more, you know, um, positive? Like, can you find joy in the ordinary? Because if you can start slipping in some joy in your ordinary, to, ordinary life, everything's going to get a whole lot easier for you, right? So for example, imagine when you grab the coffee, you're like, oh, it's such a nice break. I can't believe I get to have a recharge and you make it a thing. And it could be anything. Maybe like your break could be a shower. Maybe your break could be anything, but finding some, some sort of joy in the ordinary and getting accustomed to it because it can be done. It's all mind control, all uh, uh, just really power of uh, the, the ability to you know recreate your own world in your mind. So right now, Source is telling you that to really use it. Now you got the sun and you got the king of wands. So you're getting a, a, it's almost like a blessing to, you know, you're going to feel a familiar energy. And this energy is a feeling that's going to, like an energy that's going to feel very safe and calming and nurturing and uh, familiar in a good way. And most likely it's an energy you might've even felt in a past life. Like it's more of a vibration than anything. And right now source is telling you that like, you know, just expect this energy to come and 
you know, during this time frame of this energy being presented to you to really start expecting progress over perfection, you know, in your life, because it's so important that you are your genuine, authentic self right here, right now, uh, especially when you're about to meet someone like this, um, because you want them to recognize your energy as well. You know, you may not recognize each other superficially, like how you look and stuff, but you will feel each other's energy and be like, I don't know what's going on, but for some reason I like you and trust you. And boom, that is because you most likely know this person. That's your instincts telling you what's up. When I met my wife, Alicia, it was just, just like that. I was like, I don't know what the heck's going on here, but something's going on clearly. And it, it shouldn't have gone on. And it was, and it was undeniable. You know, so that's clearly like a life, you know, a uh, connection. And um, Source is telling you that this is the same energy that's coming into your life. But while this comes into your life, like the universe is, the universe is telling you that there's some like, you got to like watch how much pressure you're putting on yourself. Because there's some extra added pressure you've been putting on yourself lately. And most likely this has to come to an end, right? And your universe is telling you like your vibe attracts your tribe. So if your vibe is, you know, being, you know, you're being hard on yourself, or your expectations are too high, or maybe you are telling yourself, you know, I shoulda, woulda, coulda by this time frame, you know, typical ego stuff we all go through. Um, this is going to prevent this energy from flowing and you're getting the heads up right now to really let this energy flow. Now check this out. I love this card, right? Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Look at her feather. Isn't she the best? Right now, Source is telling you that you know, don't settle, expect it all, expect to meet Romeo, expect to be able to get a job that you made 500k a year doing something you love, I'm not kidding, this is all real stuff, you can do this, this is not hocus pocus, this can 100% happen, question is, is when do you want this to happen, your answer might be like yesterday, my answer is like great, what do you want to do about it, right, because if you're down, then yeah, just make a couple changes in your life, and you will get it, but it's like, how bad do you want it? That's the real question. You know, I know I would easily give up an extra hour or two of sleep to be able to have it. I would easily give up eating foods that don't even make me feel good, but I think I've been brainwashed to eat to have it. Do you know what I mean? I would give up a couple of things to have it. And that's what the universe is telling you. Ask yourself, how bad do you want it? Right? Because I know you want it because you deserve this, right? And it's, it's just part of your energy. And to choose kindness over judgment, you know, to do something passionately rather than just doing it, you know, whatever. That energy right there is what Source is telling you right now. It's going to help you clear this. So it's like really connecting to your higher self, really connecting to um, the energy, the victories, like celebrating the victories before they even take place or even celebrating the small victories. But start associating yourself with conquering, right? Really start associating yourself with conquering and good things will come. All right, now I'm going to dive into your affirmation for today. Okay, Leo, write this down in the comment section, the following words, whatever this affirmation is, write it down in the comment section. When you write this down, you have to attach emotion to it. If you do this, affirmation means effortless attention. You're basically saying this is so. This is so. And what you think is, is. This is how it works in this universe. It's not what's real or what's realistic. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is if you say something is, and if you say it out loud or write in the comment section, that's you taking action steps. You're not saying the opposite. You're actually doing stuff. So attach a feeling to it and get the party started. So right now, write in the comment section, okay, write down, I imagine myself living my ideal life. I imagine myself living my ideal life. This is it. You're letting it be known. You have the power to visualize yourself living a life where you're doing something effortlessly and getting paid for it. And you have a dream body and you're doing it with your soulmate. I imagine myself living my ideal life, whatever that is to you. Write this down in the comment section. You're telling the universe, I know how to play this game. I understand my imagination is going to get me there. Even if it sounds like Peter Pan stuff, it's true. That's the funny thing. This whole Cinderella thing is true. Hey, <laughs> who would have thought? Think it, believe it, achieve it. It's real. So right now, the universe is telling you that this is the time to write down, I imagine myself living my ideal life in the comment section. All right, now let's dive right in. Let's get your uh, final message from the universe. You were born with that it quality. You were born with that it quality, gotcha. I could have wrote and said that better. You were born with that it quality. Universe is the best. Now, message is, do you wanna know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you wanna know what's really powerful? 
Persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy. Not needing to be needed. And if still they don't notice your good looks, your strength, and your sachet, could you feel more sorry about them? Taluhu, the universe. Universe has got jokes on jokes, ladies and gentlemen. The universe loves you, and the universe wants you to know that you're the ish. You got me? You are the ish. No ifs or buts. You've always been the ish. You're always going to be the ish. And that right there is power. And all you have to do is ask yourself, how can I, you know, honor my soul right now? Any decision you have to make, anything, it doesn't matter. And just try to have 10 decisions in a row, honor your soul style and tell me your life doesn't change like that. Like it's easy as pie. You got this. All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.